four years of college. How many times have you experienced losing? Four. You know, it's not gonna be like that in the NFL. We'll see. Not many of today's stars had to endure the same emotional roller coaster that Jalen Hurts did. From crying in his mom and dad's arms after a national championship game to being a contender for the NFL MVP, this is the incredible comeback story of Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts' journey to the NFL started at Channel View High School in Texas. With his father already coaching the football team and his brother having attended before him, the family had special ties to the school. In his early years, he would join his father at practices and even take part in drills. When it was Jalen's turn to take the field, there was only one position he was going for, quarterback. As the coach's son, it would be easy to imagine that Hurts was favored from the staff, but that couldn't be further from the truth. My sons get the same speech that all of my players get. Jalen's father expected the best from his son and wasn't afraid to make his feelings known when Jalen did something wrong. He didn't shy away from criticizing and yelling at him in front of his teammates. And honestly, most kids might cry if that happened to them today. And what may appear as harsh on the outside was really making Jalen stronger. It built a mental fortitude that would prove crucial later in Jalen's life when his resilience and willpower were tested to the very max while he was at Alabama. Alongside his time on the field, Jalen enjoyed his time in the gym. His powerful build gave him an edge when it came to lifting weights, leading him to compete in powerlifting competitions. I mean, the dude was squatting more than anybody I know at high school. And this also made it nearly impossible to tackle him on the field. His physicality set him apart from other high school kids. And in his senior year, Hertz passed for 2,384 yards and 26 touchdowns, also using his size to rush for over 1,000 more yards and another 24 touchdowns. He was a true dual threat weapon and the 50 touchdowns touchdowns certainly helped him get noticed. Coming out of high school, Hertz was rated a four-star recruit. Following attention from Texas A&M, Hertz decided to join Nick Saban at the University of Alabama. As the newest addition to the Alabama Crimson Tide, Jalen Hertz brought with him excitement and anticipation at what this physical freak could do. Even at one of the most prestigious colleges in the country, Hertz's size stood out as a significant advantage. Leading into his freshman season, only the linemen on this team could lift more than Jalen. And I mean, there were some freaks on this offensive and defensive line, but he recognized the physical gift that he benefited from and made sure to utilize it as a valuable asset to his game. And although Hertz had all the talent in the world, Blake Barnett won the starting job over Hertz. But that that didn't last very long. You see, Nick Saban had never started a true freshman quarterback and stuck to his blueprint. All of that went out of the window very quickly though. Blake Barnett was benched for Jalen after just three drives. Hertz went on to pass for two touchdowns and rush for two more. The genie was out of the bottle and there was no putting it back in. I mean, they absolutely mollywopped USC. The decision to venture into the unknown for Saban paid off in dividends. Jalen Hurts went on to pass for 2,780 yards and 23 touchdowns. The dual threat of Jalen Hurts was insane while also rushing for 954 yards and another 13 touchdowns on the ground. The team went undefeated in the regular season and averaged 39 points per game across the entire year. I mean, this team was absolutely stacked that they had. They cruised past Florida in the SEC championship game, but they ultimately came up short in the national championship game against Clemson. How does it feel to be on, on this end? Well, you, you never want to be on this end. You never want to be on this end of it, but I mean, today we are and my sophomore season starts tomorrow. Alabama had lost 35-31 to to Deshaun Watson and the Clemson Tigers in one of the most thrilling college football playoff games we had ever seen. And honestly, it was a poor outing for Jalen, who completed only 13 of his 31 passing attempts, while Deshaun Watson on the other side had a 420-yard, three-touchdown performance and was left as no doubt as the quarterback that was better on the field that day. It was a disappointing end to an incredible year for the freshman. Hertz had broken the Alabama score record for rushing yards as a quarterback and was named the SEC Offensive Player of the Year. And his 2017 season took on a similar form. He led the team to 11 straight wins before losing the season finale against Auburn. Nevertheless, the team made it through the playoffs 
where a revenge game against Clemson was their first hurdle to clear. And again, Jalen Hurts in this insane stacked offense did just that, defeating last year's champions 24 to six, setting up a national championship clash with the Georgia Bulldogs. But this would prove to be Jalen Hurts' career altering game and beg some of the biggest what ifs of his career. Just one year after faltering in the same fixture against Clemson, Jalen Hurts endured a horrible first half performance. He overthrew his receivers and failed to impact the game in any way as a passer. Three completions for 21 yards in the first half led Coach Saban shocking everyone and benching his star quarterback. With Hurts resigned to the bench, Tua Tagovailoa took his spot, becoming the second true freshman to ever start at quarterback for Nick Saban. Having entered halftime with no points on the board, Tua took to the field in the biggest game of his career and life probably at the time. He completed 14 of his 24 passes for 166 yards and three touchdowns, along with one of the greatest endings in college football history, and would crown Alabama as national champions. What could have been the greatest day of Jalen Hurts' life had turned into a nightmare. Hurts has participated in plenty of interviews about that day, and he has reflected on being in tears with his family in his hotel room after the celebrations were over. Every room with my parents, my brother and my sister, and you know, I'm, I'm in my, my parents, my mom and dad's arms crying, and I'm, I look up at my dad, I say, you know, what are we gonna do now? Jalen Hurts was a national champion, but it was an accolade that was tarnished by questions about whether he would ever start a football game again. But the Alabama chapter of his story was far from over. I look up at my dad, I say, you know, what are we gonna do now? And he, you know, he told me, he looked me in my eyes, he told me, he said, we're gonna fight. After winning Alabama the national championship, the starting job was Tua's heading into the 2018 season. Hertz again decided to swallow his pride and stay on as the team's backup, committing to learning and improving under one of the greatest college coaches of all time. As it turns out, that was the best decision he could have ever made. Alabama stormed through another undefeated season to set up a SEC championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs. With Alabama trailing by seven points in the fourth quarter, the un thinkable would happen. It's down again. That means Jalen Hurts, the guy who won all but two of the games that he started and was replaced at halftime of the national championship game on January 8th, comes in to take over for the guy that won that game. Just 11 months after being benched for Tua in this very stadium, Jalen Hurts entered the game to try and secure an unlikely victory for his team. ESPN gave Georgia an 80% chance of winning at that point that Hurts took over at quarterback, just showing the mammoth task that Hurts had on his hands. Hurts navigated his way through awkward third downs and tied up the game with a beautiful third and goal pass to Jerry Judy whilst rolling out to his right. Then, with just a minute left on the clock, Hertz took a quarterback draw up the middle to run in for the game-winning touchdown. The Bama quarterback went 7 for 9 for 82 yards in a touchdown, adding 28 yards and another touchdown on the ground. After experiencing one of the most crushing moments of his life in this very stadium, Jalen Hurts returned 11 months later to complete the redemption story and validate his decision to stay. He had been quoted saying, that day made me who I am. I wouldn't change it for the world. After winning the SEC championship for Alabama, Hertz returned to the backup role and watched the team fall short in another national championship at the hands of Clemson. Begging another what if question and with just one year of eligibility left, Hertz set his sights on finishing out his college career somewhere that he could prove his ability as a starter. Jalen Hurts. 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 Jalen Hurts of Alabama is going to Oklahoma. This proved to be the right call as Hertz enjoyed the best season to date. As a Sooner, Hertz smashed past his previous yardage best, passing for 3,851 yards and 31 touchdowns. He also rushed for 1,298 yards and 20 touchdowns on the ground, culminating in a truly dominant season. Oklahoma suffered just one regular season loss and made it into the college playoffs. Unfortunately, a loss to that stacked LSU team in Joe Shiesty in the Peach Bowl would prevent Hertz from 
going to the national championship game in all four of his college seasons. Even so, it was a remarkable year for Jalen Hurts, and he was rewarded by coming second in Heisman voting and was recognized as the Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year and was firmly on the radar of NFL front offices. Hurts was projected as a second or third round draft prospect, but many doubted his passing ability. As a result, he slid to the 53rd overall pick when he officially became a Philadelphia Eagle. The selection came as a surprise to many, including Hertz. But one thing that isn't surprising is that another rando and VR with Adil, who were the first two to comment in our past video. And if you'd like to be shout out in our next video, make sure to join our members page for exclusive shout outs like this, weekly winning NFL picks like this, and for all the amazing recent support from you guys, monthly prizes that'll be announcing very soon this November. So make sure you join up. But back to how Jalen Hurts is the best quarterback out of the 2020 NFL draft. The move came as a complete shock because Philadelphia had just re-signed their quarterback, Carson Wentz, to a huge contract just one year earlier. Wentz was guaranteed $100 million, making the addition of a second round quarterback even more confusing. And just as before, Hurts started his rookie season as a backup, but just like in college, finished as the starter. 2021 was Hurts' first full year as a starter for the Philadelphia Eagles. He passed for over 3,000 yards and 16 touchdowns, also contributed contributing 784 yards and 10 touchdowns as a rusher. The talent was clear to see, but a 61% completion percentage showed that more improvement was needed as a passer. Philadelphia reached the playoffs, but another dismal performance in a big game meant they were felled by Tom Brady in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Thankfully though, any questions that remained about Jalen Hurts' ability as a starting quarterback were completely banished in 2022. Hurts was a popular candidate to break out heading into the season, and he did so in style. A career-best 3,701 yards and 22 touchdowns were supported nicely by another 760 yards and 13 touchdowns on the ground. And on top of this, his completion percentage rose to an astounding 66.5%, and there was no doubt that he was one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Much of this success can be attributed to a savvy offseason move by signing AJ Brown prior to the 2022 season. The addition of Brown elevated the Eagles offense to one of the best in the league, and Hertz was able to lead the team to the Super Bowl. Unfortunately though, Again, Hertz fell short after losing to Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Hertz had an incredible game. He passed for 304 yards and rushed for another 70 yards and three touchdowns, courtesy of the Tush Push. It was a performance that deserved a ring, proving his status as one of the best players in the NFL. Hertz came second in MVP voting for the 2022 season, also being recognized as a second team all pro. He is enjoying life in Philadelphia, now halfway through another impressive season Season that looks destined for a deep playoff run. There is no denying that Jalen Hurts is a serial winner, all the way from the national championship nightmare to a major Super Bowl contender.